వాట్సాప్ క్యాష్ నా పేరు ఆదిత్య మీరు చూస్తున్నారు ఆటోమేటిక్ హార్ట్ గేమ్ కొత్త గేమ్ ఈరోజు రిలీజ్ అయింది లెస్ట్ టూ దిస్ క్యాష్ ఆర్ట్ చూద్దాం ఎలా ఉంటుందో ఓకే స్టార్ట్ నేను ఆల్రెడీ కొంచెం ఆడాను మళ్ళీ మొదటి మీకోసం నేను మళ్ళీ మొదటి నుంచి ఆడతాను ఎలా ఉంటుందో తెలుసుకుందామని ఆడాను ముందుగా అండ్ ఐఎమ్ సో ఎక్సైటెడ్ టు ప్లే దిస్ దిస్ గేమ్ మీకోసం ఫస్ట్ నుంచి మళ్ళీ స్టార్ట్ చేస్తాను మీరు చూడాలి కదా మరి ఓకే గేమ్ బాగానే ఉంది మీరు ఎంజాయ్ చేస్తారు బాగా డిసప్పాయింట్మెంట్ ఏమి ఉండదు కానీ కొంచెం స్లో అవుతుంది అంటే ఓపిక పట్టాలి మంచి సీన్స్ మంచి యాక్షన్ కోసం టైం పట్టేట్టు ఉంది లోడ్ అవ్వడానికి I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chalome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chalamet City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. గ్రాఫిక్స్ చాలా రియలిస్టిక్గా ఉన్నాయి రిఫ్లెక్షన్స్ స్కీన్ టెర్రరింగ్ వస్తుంది ఎందుకు వస్తుంది లుక్స్ లైక్ అనదర్ బాక్ గట్ స్టక్ ఇన్ ఎ ట్రీ దట్ ఆల్వేస్ క్రాక్స్ మీ అప్ హియర్ రౌ కమ్ హియర్ బాయ్ హియర్ ఇస్ వెర్ స్టిల్ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ ద రోబోట్స్ నావిగేషన్ వావ్ What a beautiful day. So, leave it. Let's continue the game. Focus. Focus on it. What's up with your Vorbas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been lying there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Shit. Thank you. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. డ్రోన్ వచ్చింది Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. 
I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. <gasps> Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechinov, is about to begin. <laughs> Gather in the town else. square to hear his address. Uh, it's too bad Get your thought device today. To get, get connected straight away. Today, get connected straight away. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. I'm saving it for today. Say cheese. It's beautiful. Comrades, residents, and visitors to the Chelsea City Lab. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. You did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy... Cr Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. Any information gathered by these sensors will be polymerically projected directly onto your retina, 
producing an augmented reality effect. The only effect I've seen so far, Bot, is pretty much nothing's changed. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. The address, the address by the Director, by the Director General, General of Facility 3826, 3826 Dr. Dr. Sechenov, is, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. We stand on the brink. Report to the, to the lobby of that high rise, Street of man They're waiting. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of your So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. Adaption. The car is waiting. Now you must go to Dr. To Sechenov's office for the access code. Only be left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leak. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Difficult, tedious, drudgeiness, drudge drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science, to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector, thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind, free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You... We'll no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here's your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots... Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, 
What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. The first neural connector is facility 3826's newest R&D product. The brainchild of an elite cadre of Soviet scientists and engineers working at the forefront of multidisciplinary science and technology. This device is set to completely revolutionize the world. Armed with a thought device, it, any polymerized Soviet citizen will be able to learn to control robots with the power of their mind. The world will never be the same again. Not just an indispensable piece of hardware, the thought device is also a stylish, personalized gadget. It combines high-tech, user-friendly digital solutions with an elegant, eye-pleasing look in a wide range of colors. You can find a thought device that matches your eye color, your favorite dress, or anything you like. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades in every city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing yeah. unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, and the... Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? 
Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took. Now, now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at Laboratory 8 of the Babylon Complex with above ground facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Babylon Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh! 
the hell are you doing, you lousy fuck? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Absent mode not Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Somebody help me! Shit! Uh, get away from me! Uh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on I don't here? know if you noticed, but Lots the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basic.
perfectly safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! Uh, no good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. Riding my ass for two days now, now. Take that! It's shit and die! Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! No You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! What a goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's nah, launch was we? only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right.
A valve. Just what I need. And the machines rose from the ashes. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially Shit. dangerous, Shit. and they knock you down. Shit on a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, my God. What the hell? This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. These robots have started killing everyone in sight. <clears throat> Right now, I'm in. Hey, who's there? They found me. Get Rose from the ashes. And number five, three, two, and your sentence. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shh, I'm shot shot Why didn't you tell me that before? Uh -huh. Heavy attack. Heavy attack. Come on, man. Okay, man. Man, who are you? All I know, man, who are you? All I need, cake, or what are you? At this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Okay, nice. 
Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. ...paid his debt to the motherland, and is thus granted relief from forced labor at the complex. Gunno, gunno. Busy right now. Try to avoid the robots' more powerful ah, attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit on a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. 
but it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created... 